Hi, everybody. My name is John DePietro. And I'm Bob Zigami with the Camp Report Show. And on this Camp Report Show, we are going to visit a old but new company. It's called Bolus, and they have a very interesting way that they showcase their products all around the country. They have a road show where they take them from the West Coast to the East Coast and back. I think you're going to enjoy the interview. Yeah, it's a great company yeah, doing some great things. Uh, I've got uh, the annual interview with Heather Leach, the executive director of the Pennsylvania RV and Camping Association, because next week, next week, yeah, next week is the Hershey, the big Hershey show, the 55th anniversary of the show at the Hershey Center. Mm -hmm. And just tremendous show and all kinds of RVs for you. All kinds of RVs. I think there's like 1,500 of them on display there. there. There are indeed. We're going to look at most of them next week, and we're going to find out about them because we read stories in what publications that tell us about that. RV Business with Rick Kessler and Woodall's Campground Magazine with Ben Quiggle. And we've got those stories plus so much more coming up right here, right now on The Camper Report Show. Stay with us, everyone. Hey there, RVers. We get it. Your insurance and warranty needs are as unique as your travel destinations. That's why RVer Insurance has teamed up with Wholesale Warranties to cover all the bases. From health insurance to RV coverage and warranties, we've got you sorted every step of the way. With a solid track record in providing top-notch health insurance and affordable RV insurance options, RV Insurance has you covered. And for those unexpected repair bills, look no further than our friends at Wholesale Warranties, leaders in reliable coverage and customer support. Start your RV protection journey today at RVerInsurance.com or WholesaleWarranties.com slash RVerInsurance. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Camp Report Show. My name is John DiPietro. My colleague is Bob Zagami. And Bob, uh, lots of interesting new products coming out in the next few months. And at least two of them are being showcased at Hershey. In, That's right. Uh, in, you know, it's, in it's the best period. show, probably the best show in the country to see the uh, 2025 models for the first time. And it is a manufacturer's show. And that by that, I mean, if you want to see Winnebago's, they're all in one location, not at four or five different dealers. All in one location. All in same one location. Thing, same thing with Alliance or Brinkley. You look for the manufacturer, spend your whole day there. Exactly. Now, what, we're going to switch this order up a little bit so that we can keep this flowing in the right way. But um, you know what? Next week is 9-11, which obviously is a day that is um, very important to all of us. 9-11-01. And um, our friends at Keystone are going to introduce a toy hauler a fusion toy hauler called the Stars and Stripes model. And um, it's pretty interesting. Uh, it talk it about is. That. You know, and I realize this is the second time in three weeks that we feature a Keystone product. But when companies do things that are unique and worthy of extra news coverage, we, we are there. And uh, in this case, it's the fusion toy hauler that's got a reboot of everything on it. But the most famous thing and being, like you say, 9-11, imagine 23 years, 23rd anniversary. Yep. And this is a special fusion over 40 feet long, special paint job. And again, they had that before they told us about the matte paint job on the Heroes edition. This is gonna be available in a matte finish also in a couple of colors and you can get the gloss finish on it. But it's it there's an iridescent stars and stripes on the on the unit, special coloring. It it looks fantastic. And and they just like everything else, this one was created. They get some great product managers and salespeople in their divisions. And uh Chris, 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 what's his name? Chris Nizel, Chris Nickel was out uh doing Cam Nickel. Cam Nickel. Yeah. Yep. He, he, was was out, out, uh, he was out. He was out playing with his ATVs, yep. and, and, and at a place where there were a lot of them, and he noticed that every ATV what had it a have? flag, American flag. Yep. Said, well, if ATVs are that popular and they're that patriotic, 
and they put them into toy haulers. Why don't we do something different with our toy hauler? And I think it's going to be another home run from them. It's, well, and it's, the, the other interesting marketing aspect of this is, you know, talk about stars and stripes. Um, why hold it till Memorial Day next year when 9-11 is an American holiday? And yep. it might not be a holiday on the calendar, but it's a holiday on people's minds. So why not take something like that and um, introduce it at that time at America's largest RV show, as our friends at Hershey yep. say. Yep. And uh, that, that's, that's not going to be the only one that we see um, promoted at Hershey. We're going to see several others. And one of them is the Ember E-Series Spark, which is not a big 40 footer like the uh, the fusion but it's a second generation owner company talk about who the president of ember is Ashley Bontrager from the uh, Jaco family of Bontragers years ago and she's done an amazing job building out ember rv and the dealers love the product and i i love what they've done here is we know the market has shifted the last few years the economy has tanked a little bit and people are being a lot more cautious about the money and what they're spending on. Well, this is a new series of trailer designed. They got two units that have bunk houses and good for families, and they got two others that are good for either solo travelers or couples, 19 to 23 feet. And it's going to be in the Myers RV display at the show. And you're going to see a lot of these types of products at the show. The industry has responded with more affordable, lightweight vehicles, and that will be, regardless of the manufacturers, that will be the most popular product sold at the Hershey Show this year. Yep. And you hear, you hear it here first. Hearing it first. And um, you said the Myers display, it'll be at the Ember display, and Myers will be staffing it, just like Myers will be staffing a segment of the uh, Keystone display that has that future. That's right. Go go to the Ember display and yep. and they have certain deal. When they go to public days, their dealers come in and take over the display. So go to Ember and then find Myers and you'll find the uh, this particular model. And and when we say bunkhouse on this one, this now keep in mind this is 19 feet long, only Man. 19 feet long, but the two bunk beds are double beds, so you have four people in that bunk corner plus. You know that your parents' uh, big bed up front in 19 feet, and yep. you get uh, Goodyear endurance tires on it. Uh, it's it's going to be something to watch next at the at the show. I mean, it'll be it'll be that's one of those displays where you see a long line. Yeah, I'm exactly. sure. I'm exactly. sure. I'm sure you're going to see this and many others under thirty thousand dollars manufacturers suggested list price. Yeah. And yeah steep discounts from that so this is going to be a big buying show this year yep. people made it all summer and the other display that you're going to see there is an airstream display and the other retailer that you're going to see there is blue compass because i know in prior years they have a giant tent that they uh, put there it says blue compass all over it. you can't miss it and um, one of the reasons that blue compass is so prominent is that they're one of america's fastest growing rv dealerships with what um uh, over 100 dealerships in 30 33 states. states right exactly it's going to continue to grow yeah but, yep and um they recently got another award one of several awards that they've gotten from airstream because they are the number one airstream dealer in the world which is not, amazing not, not consider, the country not the country yep. in the world number one which is amazing since they've only been around for less than eight years, well, seven years. Yeah. yeah. Six years, 2018. And, and they not only do they keep growing, but they keep getting better. So yep. this year, this is the ninth straight year they've qualified for the prestigious Airstream Five Ribbit Award. Five Ribbits. Yeah. And that they measure a lot of things based on the customer surveys and customer feedback and on the spot inspections. They show up unannounced and go five different areas of your business and check and see if you're doing the things that they want you to do if you're going to retain your Airstream dealership. And they moved up. They had eight awards last year, eight of the uh, facilities. Now this year, it is nine facilities. Mm -hmm. And they have the number one Airstream 
store in Tampa, Florida. And they are, the, like you say, the Airstream's number one dealer group also. So they, they get, they must have a whole room with Airstream awards well, up, up yeah. on the walls and in the uh, display cases. Yep. Yeah, it, it, it is truly amazing. But their nine stores were Tampa, Austin, Des Moines, Jacksonville, South Carolina, Albany, Greensboro, Gainesville, and Orlando. So what do we have? We have three down here in Florida. Four, Orlando, Gainesville, Jacksonville, and Tampa. So four of the nine are here in Florida. Right there. Amazing. Yep. Yeah. Blue blue um blue ribbons for blue compass. And um with that being said, we want to let you know that we will be at the Hershey show and we'll be um taking a look at all these new products and then bringing to you bringing them to you in subsequent weeks right here where Bob? on the Camp Report show. Attention all our viewers. Say goodbye to roof worries and hello to worry-free travel with RV Roof Magic. This revolutionary liquid butyl roof coating is specially formulated to protect your RV from the elements to extend its lifespan and prevent leaks. With simple application and outstanding results, RV Roof Magic is the go-to choice for RV owners seeking superior roof protection. Don't let roof maintenance issues hold you back. RV Roof Magic is the only liquid butyl rubber in the world that offers a one coat, no primer coverage, and a 10 year warranty. Visit rvroofmagic.com slash RV life and extend your roof another 18 to 20 years. Okay, welcome back everybody to the Camper Report show and it's August, which means September is right around the corner. And when it gets to be September, everybody wants to go to Hershey. And this is the woman who lets us go to Hershey and produces the PRBCA show. Heather Leach, uh, always great to have you back this time of year. You probably would wish that we'd go someplace else this time of year, but uh, <laughs> tell, no, tell us, I love uh, I love that you know that you're giving us attention. So of course, I, I will be. <laughs> well, it it is America's largest RV show, so we have to you know you you're at the top of the mountain. So <laughs> what, what have you got that's new for us this year, Heather? Well, this year, I think um, one of the things we expanded on from last year is our influencers. So we're having a lot of influencer meet and greets um, this year. Uh, last year, we had we just kind of have one. And this year we have um, every it ranges from Thursday to Saturday. And there's a whole schedule. So you can go on our website, largestrvshow.com um, and check that out to see if your favorite uh, RV influencer is there. And um, you'll get a chance to to say hello. I, I thought that was a great idea and I'd love to see you expanding it because there are so many. I mean, you can't you can't have them all, but uh, RVs today have so many resources for information, that being one of them. But obviously shows, shows are critical. You know, they, they, they're never, ever going to go away. It's an opportunity to see. I think I, I read that you've got about 1,500 RVs at the show this year. Yep, we have 1,500 RVs, um, the 170 booth vendors. And then we do have um, our, I think over, it's around 40 different manufacturers that will be there. And then we do have hourly seminars. So um, it is a really great place to get educated when you're, when you're coming. So even if you're, you know, we have seminars that range from like, how do I pick out the right RV for me? Like, how do I know which, what type of RV I should be buying to if you're an experienced RV and you want to go full time, you know, there's so, and everything in between. So it is a really great place um, to come and get educated, whether you're new to it or you have, you know, a lot of experience. There's there's going to be something there that you can certainly learn from. And, and I know our good friend Chris Doherty is going to be deeply involved with the uh, seminar programs. He's working with PRVCA on some of their uh, training programs. You get probably some of the best ones in the country for dealers mm -hmm. and, and technical training. Uh, but that you do that on Tuesday for the the trade or for the industry at Wednesday, you open that up and especially yeah. people that, that tend to walk around all around those 1500 RVs when they want to take a break, they grab a cup of coffee, go into the seminar room. And if, if even if you didn't know what the topic was, something in that room is going to be important to you uh, <laughs> in your RV lifestyle. That's true. <laughs> I, I, know, I noticed, I uh, noticed, because I had a park model for years up in Maine, but I noticed you have two park model manufacturers 
Uh, I know one of them. I never heard of the other one, but you're getting park models back into the show, which I yes. think is fantastic. Yeah, we're really excited that they're coming back. It's been, I mean, probably since they they haven't been there since 2020. Um, and I think now they're getting back on track that they want to start, you know, reaching out more to consumers. And we have Woodland Park, which, of course, has been around, you know, forever. And then Great Outdoor Cottages. And they're they're fairly new um, and they have some some really cool looking products that they're that they're bringing. I all I know is they they told me that their one unit is very unique, but I don't know what that is yet. But I'm very excited to uh, check that out. Interesting. I I remember I go but well I go way back with the show. Uh, I can't. I mean, I've probably been going for 20 years. To, if I've been reporting on the industry for 28 years, I've probably been going for 25 years. But I remember when you said what we called you called the park model village, and it would just be yeah. row after row of park models. Mm hmm. You know, yeah. Yeah. Love to, love to get back that way again. That would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> how about how about the mix with the current trend of overlander vehicles, both anything from a camper van to these big customized uh, trucks? Uh, how's your how's your presence? Because that's getting a lot of attention finally in the RV industry. They were out there by themselves for years. But uh, what kind of presence do you have for that? Yeah, I mean, we they are becoming very popular. We do have a storyteller overland is coming this year. So we're kind of happy to have yep. um, them around. Um, so, and I think um, I'm trying to think which other ones that we have are having, but they're, they're the, they're the new ones coming to the show. I believe that we'll have that. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to go and I think that'll be a nice draw. Cause I think that is something that people are really interested in. So I'm excited to see what, um, how their exhibit is and whether I think they're they're definitely excited to be there, so we're happy to have them. And and of course you got all all the big ones, the Winnebagos and the Grand Designs and Holiday Rambler and all the names that people have seen for years yeah. that are uh, that they are there every year with new products and uh, and new services. And I think uh, historically we in the industry look at your show as the first opportunity to see the twenty twenty five models, both from a standpoint of the trade press, but also the consumers. It's, it's yeah. the one place they can go to see the majority of new 2025s that are going to be on the dealers' lots shortly after this show ends, and and certainly yeah. in the consumer shows in early 2025. Yeah, and I do think it gives the manufacturers good feedback as to what products that they have are, you know, getting uh, uh, positive feedback from. So you know, if there's anything they need to week they have time to you know maybe get that done but so yeah it kind of works it work it's great for the consumers to be able to come out and see the brand new stuff and it's also great for the manufacturers to kind of see the the uh, feedback that they get from those consumers well, well that's a great point because it's always fun for the trade people to follow this that they will show it at hershey and then three weeks later when we go to the dealer open house it's all the changes have been made <laughs> all, all, the, all, the new, all the new prototypes, all the input that they got from all the great people in Pennsylvania and in the Northeast that come to your show, two or three weeks later, it's already on the product. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's kind of amazing how that works. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything else that's new in the show for the folks? Um, listen, we have a camper giveaway this year. It's a 2025 Flagstaff tent camper donated by um, Flagstaff and Keystone RV Center. And we do have a couple product giveaways this year that are kind of new um, that we haven't really had before. Um, there's a Indo, a refrigerator freezer, Blue Tech water filter, and I believe Hershey Road Campground is also donating something. So all you have to do is come and scan the QR code when you get there and register and you get a chance to win and of course one of the other things that is very popular at your show is we never go hungry between the <laughs> between the food options inside the giant center and the large selection of food trucks and vendors on the outside there is always something to eat and yes, drink. There, you, there you can definitely find something to eat we have food trucks outside food vendors inside um and i think there is a list on our website if you can you can go and look and see what all the different food types are if you want to plan out your meals <laughs> all right heather there's probably i'm talking to heather leach the uh, president of the pennsylvania rv camping association and producer of the famous what we like to call the hershey show 
any for people who may be watching that have never been to an RV show and never been to the Hershey show, uh, tell them where they find information and the hours of operation and kind of give them the, the quick overview of the show. Sure. So the show is open to the public September 11th through the 15th, and you can find all the information and you can purchase your tickets at largestrvshow.com. Um, they are a little cheaper if you buy them in advance. So, you know, you might want to get them ahead of time. And um, Wednesday through Saturday, the hours are 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. And Sunday, it's 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So a little shorter on Sunday. Um, like we already said, there's 1,500 units there. It's definitely different than your regular dealer show. It's set up by manufacturer. Um, so it's a, it's, it's a really easy way to find the products that you're looking for. Um, I do recommend if you are looking specifically for a specific product or specific type of product, take some time when you get there, kind of map out where you want to go because it's very easy to get sidetracked. And by the end of the day, you'll say, I didn't never even saw what I really came here to see because it is very easy to, to, you know, go down a row and you spend half a day there. So I would take a little bit of time to map out where you want to go. Um, that way you have a little bit of a plan and you're not, you know, not out there looking at stuff that you, that isn't what you came to, to do. So, um, and then also check out the seminars. That's also listed on our website, largestrvshow.com. Um, check it out. I'm sure there's something there that you can certainly benefit from. Well, I think you hit one of the big points of the show. It, in the sense that it is a manufacturer's show. If you go to mm -hmm. any of the other consumer shows, including ours up, up here in Boston, if you want to see Winnebago's, you got to go to five different dealers. Right. The beauty of your show is Winnebago's are all in one place. Brinkley RVs are all in one place. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, any other brand, Grand Design. So you could, if that's what you really want, you can go and spend the entire day looking at every model in that display, not running around looking at five dealers and then trying to remember which dealer had which product that you like. That's right. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, it does make it kind of nice that it's set up that way so that you're, like you said, you're not spending your time, especially when there's 1,500 RVs there, you know, to walk from one end of the show to the other just to see, you know, a different manufacturer, you, you know, that that seems that might be... a take up a little bit of time. So at least when they're set up by manufacturer, it kind of cuts down on you searching for what you're looking for. Well, I'm really looking forward to seeing you and the team and uh, coming back to the show again. It's always uh, something that we look forward to. We hate to see the camping system uh, season slow down. We hate to see it go away, but we love to see the fall coming. We get fall camping and we get the Hershey PRVCA show. So I will see you in a couple of weeks and thank you very much. Any last minute, uh, Comments for our fans. Nope. Just check out the website, largestrvshow.com. You can get all the information there. Heather, thanks for taking time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, everybody. We are at a Bolus event. We're just outside of Boston. And we are here with Geneva Long, who is the president of Bolus. And uh, Geneva, welcome to New England. Thank you. Glad to be here. Geneva, we are just ending a... Um, two or three hour event here where you had people lined up throughout the parking lot here to take a look inside your bolus rivet. You're introducing this new product throughout the country. Um, one of the things that I've noticed with the audience that came here, um, everybody that I had the opportunity to speak to is a first time RVer. And you said that you are entering the super premium market. So that really um, brings a whole new group of people into the RVing lifestyle, doesn't it? I think that's true. You know, Bolos has been in the super premium segment for a while with that Terra Firma and the Volterra. And uh, with the Rivet, we're really excited to have even more customers finding out about the Bolus and taking these off-road adventures. Mm. You know what? A couple things uh, that are striking about this whole situation. You know the rule of thumb is that whenever you turn the camera on, there's always a, <laughs> a diesel truck or something like that that goes by. But um, tell us a little bit about Bolus because people think it's a brand new company, but your heritage goes back almost 100 years. It does, yeah. So Bolus was the original riveted aluminum travel trailer from the 1930s and really phenomenal history back then. We brought back the, back the brand over 14 years ago um, and have been selling direct up until this uh, earlier this year. In the process of putting a dealer network together? Yes. Okay, so people will be able to uh, 
Actually, they can enjoy your product no matter what because you, you ship it right to them when they buy it, right? Yes, that's true. Our California dealership can ship directly to you. Um, and we're also doing these events to get out there and show, show more people the bolus in person. So excited to do that. Okay, I'm going back to that super premium mm -hmm. category. Describe what that means. Yeah, absolutely. So super premium to me uh, means that it's lightweight and aerodynamic. That's incredibly important. You should be able to tow it with a lightweight SUV, um, high-end EV as well, and have really fantastic range. It should have incredible high quality. So the Bolus, we make over 70% of all the components ourselves, right down to the frame, down to the aircraft grade so aluminum. you have quality control greater yes. than most Absolutely, companies. yes. At every stage in the production line, units are quality controlled checked before they ever move to the next position and then double checked at the end before they ship to our dealer or a customer. So really high quality. And then of course, off-grid features and all the features you'd want to be able to camp. Alternative places from campgrounds. So while that's wonderful, we also want you to have the ability to camp at wonderful harvest hosts, hip camps, BML land, um, national parks and state parks that don't necessarily have hookups. Hmm. You know, you had said in your publicity that I read earlier that uh, you want to make it easy for the EV owner to tow. And I noticed that uh, when the cars were driving in here tonight to see your product, I would say 80% were Teslas or I saw a Volvo electric vehicle. Um, the interesting aspect of what I've read is that um, a lot of people that are not proponents of EVs say you're gonna too much drag and you're gonna kill the range, but your studies show differently, right? They do, yes. Yeah. So what our goal is for our customers is to always have over 200 miles of range while towing with an EV. That's really important to be able to get from charging station to charging station. And we've proven that out with the Tesla X, the Rivian, F-150 Lightning, and just recently the Cybertruck. Um, and electric uh, road trip is really possible. We have lots of customers who do it as well as ourselves. Uh, customers have gone all across the country, all across Canada, and it's certainly very possible to have that all-electric road trip. And the reason you can with only the Bolus is that incredible lightweight and the aerodynamics, and that combination together gives you really fantastic range. And um, certainly without question, the most popular Tesla model out there is the Y. Mm -hmm. And this rivet is uh, towable with the, the, it meets the specs. It does, for a while, yes. Right? So uh, our previous models were at that 4,000 GVWR, so they couldn't be towed by the Y. But the Bolus Rivet is 3,500 GVWR, and that means it can be towed by the Tesla Y, as well as Jeeps, Broncos, and a new huge variety of tow vehicles with that 3,500 pound okay. cutoff. People want to find out more. What do they do? Visit us at bolus.com. Um, we have wonderful walkthrough tours with me, um, as well as you can book a virtual appointment with our uh, sales team. Here we go. Shanifa, we want to thank you so much for coming to New England, introducing us to the product, and for taking the time to uh, talk with us today. Thanks so much, John. This is great.